How's it going guys? So in today's video I'm going to be talking about the three important things that you do need to settle once you have actually arrived here in New Zealand, or rather that you need to start thinking about before actually coming here. So those three things are of course your um, banking information, so whether you're going to go with Kiwi Bank, ANZ, things like that, um, your 18 plus card so you don't have to bother dragging around your passport anymore. And of course your IRD. Well, actually if we're being completely honest here, this one is the most important one that you need to get sorted. Uh, just because without this, um, you're not going to be able to work here because you have to pay taxes on your salary and you can only pay t or start paying taxes once you actually have your Inland Revenue Department application done. But see, the thing is, you can't get this done without actually having a bank account open yet. So yeah, I would recommend just going with the bank account first and then um, getting your IRD sorted and then your 18 plus card. Now, for banks, so here in New Zealand, you know, we do have quite a few banks. There's Kiwi Bank, there's ANZ, there's Westpac, so on and so forth. Really, it does depend on your style because the thing about the banks here is that they each have their own individual, say, um, serious savings, super savings account that actually gives you a um, certain amount of cash back based on how long you keep your money in those savings accounts. So I would recommend just checking out the um, bank websites for more details on this one. Unfortunately, I am not a um, financial advisor in the slightest. so. I'm just working off what's on the websites. But basically what you can do instead of having to wait around um, to actually getting it all done once you arrive in New Zealand is to actually just check their websites, you know, because um, most of these banks, say like ANZ, you can actually apply online and just open the bank account straight from your home online without even having to be in New Zealand yet. So that's pretty cool. Now the next thing you need to sort out once you've gotten your banking out of the way is of course your tax. So here it is, this is the Inland Revenue Tax Form. So basically this form is for you to obtain your Inland Revenue Department number or IRD number for short. And basically what this number is, is pretty much a way for the New Zealand government to be able to track and ensure that you are paying your taxes and to ensure that you know all your details are complete as a taxpaying resident of New Zealand, even if it's temporary um, while you're on your working holiday visa or anything like that. Now, um, as you can see here, uh, this is pretty much the form itself. I'm just gonna skim through the um, main points. There is also a page that actually uh, tells you about, you know, answering each question just in case you had any issues there. So you can get this form and sort everything out at the post office. Any post office here in New Zealand will be able to help you out. It usually takes about a week or two for this form to be processed because it does need to be sent through to the government and everything. So just sit tight and try and sort out something else while you're waiting for this number to come back to you. Now, if you guys had any further questions regarding this um, form, um, do drop me a message. I will try my best to help you out. Once this one has been sorted, you finally can give your employer the um, IRD account number, which is uh, basically your specific tax code and whatnot. Um, it has the details of your account and everything. And yeah, you can start getting paid legally once you get this form sorted. Um, now, I'm going to be leaving, you know, just so you guys don't get bored, I'm just going to be leaving a copy of where you can actually find this form down in the description below. So if you guys had any questions about that, um, I'll try my best to help uh, translate it rather for you if you want to. And yeah, that's, that's your IRD form. Now, the next thing you're going to sort out is your 18 plus card. Now, actually, this is very, very optional. Um, you don't actually need it at all. Um, but it is a little bit more efficient than having to uh, drag around your passport everywhere, even if you, you know, are planning to stay for uh, six months on that working holiday visa. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that it actually does cost $50 for an application of the 18 plus card. But see, the thing is that even though 
it's completely optional and you don't even need it. It is actually a lot useful, um, say, if you need to prove your identity. So say, for example, if you're um, wanting to go to a club or, you know, if you want to buy a drink or say if you want to buy cigarettes or anything like that, you do need to show proof that you are older than 18 years old. And, you know, besides this as well, you do need it for your residency application, but that's a story for another time. So this 18 plus um, card is pretty much like this. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing, you're gonna be getting a card that looks like this. I'll leave a quick little screenshot there so you guys can uh, scan it or read it if you want. I'll also leave a link in the description where you can um, download a scanned copy of this. Now bear in mind all of these documents they do need an address that is already here in New Zealand. Now the way you can sort that one out is um, say if you're coming in on a hostel address or anything like that um, you can just give the hostel a ring and ask them to provide you with a uh, sort of landlord landlord letter i think or um well it's basically something that says that's literally saying like dear to whoever it may concern um this is to confirm that such and such is staying here at such and such so you know it's a it's a way to prove and verify that you actually do have an address here in new zealand um even if it's temporary it's still fine as long as it's um a way to track you down sort of uh, a paper trail let's call it that yeah so basically these are the things that you do need to sort out um, once you arrive here in New Zealand or rather before you arrive here, you know, you can already start thinking about that. But actually I want to hear more from you guys. So did anyone apply for the 2018 working holiday visa that um, opened back on the 25th of January? And if so, how was it for you? Was it as hard as you assumed or was it a little easier than... Um, you know the other applications let me know in the comments down below and of course if you guys like this video don't forget to like it and um, share it with your friends if you want subscribe to my channel for more informative videos about life here in New Zealand I am going to be trying to post once a month in 2018 that is a resolution now of course I want to make it a lot more frequent than that but granted I am um, working part-time while also studying full-time and of course, trying to survive and manage my social life here in New Zealand. Now that's a whole video for another day. But if anything, guys, as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.